But don't complain, bitch, do. Period. Just do what you can, call it a night, and wake up and start again. Hey, you got. What TV? What TV was loud, mom? Because my dad went back and I heard something loud. I don't know. You want to tell the vlog, hey? Why not? You want to tell the vlog, hey, ma? Hey. Okay. Do you need me? I'm about to go into the office. Okay. You need me still? Mm -hmm. Do you need me? No. No, no, no. I'm going to go check on the clothes. Come on, get my, go in the office, do my stuff for you. Get you late. All right. I put the clothes in the office. Watch, I love my foundation. Oh, good. I love it. If I don't do nothing, I do that. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. You know. And your sponge. She has a beauty yeah. sponge now, y'all. A correct beauty sponge. Watch it. Watch what it does. You know, she wants me to watch. What on. foundation do you have for the girls? Uh, you, what foundation is it? So you can tell us. What foundation are you wearing? Oh, it's Pretty Fresh by Color Pop. That's her foundation. Well, welcome back to the channel, you guys. A fresh and new vlog. Woohoo! <sighs> I went to go get my camera and then I sat down and was like, wait, I need to vlog. I need to talk to you guys. And I don't like this lighting right here, even though I do need to start working. And the office is so messy. We try to keep it clean. It's just hard. We're running two businesses in here, as you guys know. So it's always hard to keep it just tidy all the time. So I cut all of my hair off, you guys. Like, I am sort of picture right here. But y'all, y'all been around for a while. I feel like I have new subscribers, but most of you guys have been here for at least three to four years, if not the whole 10 years I've been on YouTube. I've cut my hair numerous times. A lot of you guys know that. I've cut my hair, I've dyed my hair, I've did all types of stuff. And my nails are yellow because my green nail polish taint like, not about to say tainted it, uh, stained them. It's so weird. So, but I'm painting my nails again today. That was a good reminder. Anyways, y'all know I have no issue cutting my hair. I love cutting my hair. I, love, I hate dealing with my hair, not because it's horrible, ugly or anything. I'm just not a hair girl. Like I'm a hair girl. Like I want my hair to be cute, but like my natural hair, but I, you know, in my 30s, we're growing up and stuff. I really do want to start taking care of my hair in a very unserious kind of way. Because <laughs> I really don't. Like, I want Mimi to take care of my hair. That's what I want. I got this cute wig from the hair store, y'all. And I, y'all not a wig, you know, I don't know how to lay it down like the girls do. But I think I did a good enough job. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, Today is Monday. And when I tell you guys that it was such a hard day today like a lot of you guys know already Lenny has autism and it was hard like literally fighting today like me and Landon are like tussling a little bit to get out of the house this morning because he was just in a really bad mood like anything can kind of get him just like upset he doesn't really like going to school and i've you know me and Mimi both have like maxed out any type of reason why he wouldn't like going to school um yeah, the end, damn, my kids are number one, they're a priority. I will sit on that fucking campus and be like, what's tea? Why don't land like being here? You know what I mean? Um, but I really just think it's just whatever. Like he, it's like he likes it, but he doesn't like it. He just wants to make up his own rules. He is, that's his landing. He's always been that way. And when he's at school and I'm talking to his teachers and his teachers are like, he's fine. He's doing good. He's happy and, and stuff like that. But, um... So it was a tussle that was really hard and it always hurts my feelings to have to like jack him up and stuff like that. But Lennon is almost my height y'all and Lennon is a very strong boy. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with anybody with autism or disability such as autism. But Lennon is strong. He's not weak. You know what I mean? And I am short. I am 4'9 and Lennon's like... Four three or four something. He he getting there, and so it's like I have to really jack him up. So he got in the car, and then we had to get him out of the car in the drive-through line. Levi likes to be there early. We weren't there or early, and I had to drop Levi off like in the middle so he could walk straight to class, and then pull up more further in the drop-off line. If you guys ever dropped off kids, y'all know how serious those drop-off and pickup lines are. They don't play. Then y'all to hurry up. So. But they're pretty understanding when it comes to, they kind of know who has a child with a disability in their car. Just about now, they know. And stuff. So, so we pulled down to the end to let Landon out. Landon refused to get out. That was about to be a tussle as well. But one of his parents came, which is a man, and Landon's very responsive to men. One of them came out and he's kind of like, whatever. Landon was just like, okay, I'll go. But then the other one came out, which I absolutely love him. He just jumped out and was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and I'm like... 
<laughs> like all of that and you get out the car for him but it's like it's very helpful to have people it, as well as Mimi because Mimi is so patient understanding what I'm not because I'm just like I'm mom 24 7 and Mimi has the privilege to be Mimi you know and more patience than me she's done this rodeo already and I'm just like you ain't about to play me you know what I mean like I know you have autism but you are a very smart young man and I don't accept anything less you know what I mean but yeah today was just a hard day and I was just like a hard morning and I woke up I did my meditation I took my ashwagandhas all types of stuff and I was just like ugh, I am never ready for that kind of morning and they happen a lot you know because that's just that's the name of the game and so I'm just really happy for my support system and the awesome, awesome people at Landon School. I feel like Landon has been blessed with so many awesome people around him. You know, my OB, his first pediatrician, and further on. Like, just amazing, amazing people in Landon's life, as well as Levi. Like, I still talk to Levi's pediatrician. Like, I love that woman. And um, they've both been blessed with so many great people. And not just that, but also family and stuff. Like, I always talk about Mimi. Y'all know how I feel about Mimi. Y'all know Mimi has always been there from the beginning and I just love her I could literally start crying because I love her so much <laughs> but um uh yeah and I was just like I gotta talk to you guys about that like that was just so hard I don't know if you guys are dealing with anybody or have a child with autism but that shit is hard you know what I mean it's hard and I just think about like what is it gonna be like when he gets a little bit older when he's like 10 he's eight now he turns nine this year and it scares me but I'm, I'm equipped because I'm a mom, you know what I mean? And I got to do it. But it's also a very scary thing, too. That can make me cry, too, y'all. I'm just so vulnerable. No, I'm just a crier. That's what it is. I am a crier. But, like, thinking about my family, thinking about my kids, thinking about that kind of stuff, it makes me want to cry because it's so hard. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like, I really wouldn't. And doing all of that stuff, I also think about Levi. And I just posted a TikTok, too. Make sure you guys go check that out. And, you know, I'm going to show more too of Levi's perspective. Probably more so on TikTok. And I'll, I'm going to try to get some autism vlogs up over here too. Because we need to stick together, y'all. In all different, as like, different aspects in my life, I feel like I have so many communities within like all the things that I have to deal with in my life. And, you know, I think about Levi and I never want him to feel left out. I don't want him to grow to have like resentment for Landon or any of that stuff because, you know, I had to give him so much attention since Levi's been born and stuff. But I also try my hardest to give Levi that same feeling of attention because that's never going to be the same, the same amount, you know. So I always try to like shower him with love, listen to him talk because he loves to talk like his mama. So listen to him talk and play into his imagination and stuff like that. And I know I can do a better job with both of them. I'm going to do better this year with time management and prioritizing things properly. And um, you guys will see it. I'll make sure to include that so you guys can see the dedication to the boys and also separately too. Like they're always together because we're always together, but I'm going to try to I'm not going to try. I'm going to separate the two, like have dates for Miss just me and Levi and also dates for me and just me and Landon. But I'm about to get into work. Before I did that, I just wanted to like talk to you guys and stuff like that. But I need to set a therapy appointment. I just got back on BetterHelp. I need to set a therapy appointment. This video isn't sponsored. The next one will be though. <laughs> I did a biology quiz last night and I got a freaking 90 on that B-I-T-C-H. Like, I'm so happy because those classes, my two biology courses are so freaking hard. Um, my lab and my lecture, but we getting to it, y'all. So I just created this little cute template on Canva. I have Canva Pro um, for Anna Does Nails. I don't know if I'm done or if I want to add anything else, but I feel like this is cute enough. Like, I don't need to do anymore. Or maybe I can make, like, some images smaller and, like, put like one or two more things in there I don't know but so far this is what it looks like and I have like 10 minutes to figure it out because I need to move on to something else I look better under you, I can lose 
Valentine's Day, so I'm excited to see all the cards and stuff that the boys bring back home. I'm doing a reading vlog because I love those vlogs. I love watching them and I'm trying to get back into reading. Now I'm trying to get back into reading. I am getting back into reading. And I'm currently reading this book right here, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. You guys know I love Colleen Hoover. So yeah, that's what the reading vlog is going to be about and I'm really excited about it. I didn't even show you guys this desk. You guys saw it coming in. My dad and my brother were bringing it in. Those are laying in jaws on pillows. We wash it off, but that's like he's like fun thing to do he likes to make cars and all types of good things and stuff so this is how it looks it's kind of hard to see because the light is facing the other way i just wanted a desk in here so that i could so i can come in here and work and do my makeup and it's like just certain things especially like when it comes to like filming videos like i think it would be nice to start filming in here and stuff just more cozier i guess yesterday was i didn't really work because i had school i had to go to class and then the day before that i didn't do anything because i was just like so 
I gotta work. And I'll see you guys. We got something in the mail for Valentine's. I'm trying to see why they're still outside. It says edible, so I'm thinking like, is it edible arrangement? Oh, I think it's flowers. I love this vase, like to be reused, it's so pretty. Falling everywhere. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God, they look so beautiful. Like how beautiful is that? You can smell the eucalyptus. I need to see how much I need to trim them by. Oh, I don't really need to trim them. I just need to take off the leaves. I'm pour this in there in the water. Oh my god, I'm gonna do that in a second. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm so hot, 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 hot. I'm gonna put these like right here. I think. I love them so much. I'm about to, I'm gonna clip them and stuff today. Oh, with my sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. This is so cute. I love it. Look, I don't know what they put on these flowers or sprayed on them or whatever, but how pretty and metallic. All right, back to work. I gotta go work now. That just brightened my day. I think I'm gonna make some coffee and then I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to hurry up and like find something. I thought it was gonna be harder for you to find something. Okay, you guys, so it's the next day, and I want to show you my desk. I need to remove these because, like, as you can see, we can wash them off, and they're perfectly fine. That's why, like, we, but mainly my mom, because she takes those from my mom's room, lets me use them. This is my desk right here. I think it looks better than the first time. It's easier, and I have, like, <laughs> this. I have like this mirror. Yeah, I have like this like, you know those little tall skinny mirrors? I have that there in the way like until I actually get like an actual vanity mirror. I have that there. It's like good enough so when I sit down I can see myself doing my makeup. I kind of like just keep it there throughout the day while I'm working and stuff so I can see just in case I like hop on Instagram or TikTok or something. I think it looks like you can actually see like how it looks with a whole bunch of stuff on it. I think my dad did an awesome job making this. Like I absolutely love it. And then I ended up cutting the stems down last night. I didn't come back to show you guys and it's so pretty and then i even got to see like when i was like oh you guys cannot see it's so dark i got to see like these cute little roses like i didn't even see the roses in there and then i went to i got these because it's something i'm working on i'm actually really excited because they're actually working like so good i tried them this morning i'll talk about that in another video but then i got this i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on instagram or even tiktok the heart little jar from Dollar Tree like so stinking cute um and I finally like filled it with candy I thought like you know it's so me obviously to fill it with candy um hopefully the boys don't notice too much like they might but and I'll just use it as like an incentive or something this is how the desk is looking and I love it it's a mess but I feel like it's just so awesome like I absolutely love it so yeah I kind of like just dipped out yesterday um the boys got in from school oh crap I have class tonight I just thought about that I have my biology zoom and I have a quiz it was a chill day Levi didn't have soccer practice it was canceled and that was just it really I was just vibing and we just kind of ended out the night like just chilling it's a chill valentine's day i'm currently designing our daily holy girl for by Anna mills i have some help and we're kind of trying to coordinate and stuff. I can't really get out of the way. I don't know how to delegate. I'm not good with delegate, delegating. Only person I'm good with delegating with is Mimi because we just get each other and it's just so easy. Yeah, cause I'm just like, girl, we got a deadline. We got stuff to do, okay? So it's just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't think I'm in the way, but I'm just like, okay. If you're not gonna do it, I'm gonna help you because we need to hurry up. We got things. To do and i'm just kind of come up with new ideas on the fly too it's just kind of this hair is really bothering me but it's like it's just i need it to stop it's making me mad i have a vision i see stuff and i'm like oh boom that's what i want to do i want to add something like that like so we're kind of like coordinating with each other like this is the idea that i have can you take a step back and do that or do you need me to add it in or how can we do it so that's kind of what we're doing and i need a sample 
I need like a sample like by the end of the month and the, and the month is almost here. Being a mom, my personal life, school now, I have honor does nails. I can't complain about a ton of things going on in my life when all I wanted was this. I've always literally been like, I wanna be so busy. I wanna have so many different businesses. I just wanna be getting it all the time. I do want a family and all of that stuff. Like I asked for all of this stuff for the most part. You know what I mean? Don't complain, bitch, do. Period. Just do what you can, call it a night, and wake up and start again. That's all we can do. That's all you can do. So that's what it is right now. So it's really nothing to vlog right now. I might vlog a little bit later, but I doubt it. And then I need some time to read too, because it's already 1.30, already 1.13. I have to get the boys in like an hour. I need to check to see like what homework is due today because I know I have like a whole bunch of shit due today and I have class later on tonight and it's just like, oh my gosh. I'm editing a vlog right now, looking at all the stuff that I just need to edit. That is, a, all of this stuff is gonna be a part of this vlog, so I'm trying to edit this vlog now because I want this vlog to go up on Sunday, and it's currently Friday right now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, you guys. Like, I have no clue. Like, I don't know what's going on in this vlog. It's just a bunch of just random stuff in my day-to-day -day life. This week has just kind of been like a blah. I don't know, not a structured week. I've just been doing what I can when I can and that's that's really just been it but i don't want to do anything but i also i'm just like if you don't do anything girl you'll make no progress and you just gonna be stagnant i didn't take my ashwagandha or these little things i'm supposed to take over here too because that also might help my mood a little bit so you guys know i adhd so <laughs> so i take these ashwagandhas and i was talking to my friend on the phone earlier but i was eating trying to eat this cookie oatmeal and it's not nasty i just not a breakfast person like i'm just not a breakfast person i'm trying these things out because i was sent this stuff so i'm trying it out before i actually talk about it so i actually can be like no i have my own personal knowledge about said items if i don't already know about them you know what i mean and i'm so excited because i got an email from burst and i think i showed you guys their stuff before it wasn't sponsored it was just gifted and this is gifted too but um they're gonna be sending me some of their new products i'm just like oh for some skincare like i'm so excited so i can't wait to see what that's going to be like i just got like the notification that they just shipped it so i'm just like yes i'm so excited i just and my coffee that i made today was good too i was going to show you guys me making this but then my camera battery died so but it's the same coffee that i made earlier in the vlog that's what i've been drinking and then i put i actually made some cold foam today so i made some cinnamon cold foam i'm about to um Put my camera, my phone back on because I was watching Blacklist. I don't know if you guys see that, but I'm watching Blacklist. I do that, take my meds, take my little morning, you know, things and get to editing. I'm giving myself like an hour to edit this vlog today. Hurry, my battery's dying. Hey, I'm trying to find my pencil I lost. Oh, you lost your pencil? I'm oh, trying wow. to find it. I know, but don't blind them with that light. All right. Oh, you trying to look on new stuff? Yeah. Oh, go ask Mimi. Is she cleaned up this morning? Ask Mimi. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Say excuse me. I touched that fire for you. I do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told her like you that bitch. I do it all and I'm on fire. 